Honorable Prime Minister Roosevelt Skerritt is concerned about the negative impact of CNCDs. Dominica State College students observe the workings of the Caribbean single market and economy. And the Organization of the Eastern Caribbean States is positioning itself to do more business with Martinique. Welcome to this edition of National Focus. I'm Mervyn Mafia. And I'm Kimani Senja. Stay with us for details of the headline stories and others after this. There is a silent, invisible killer in our midst, a killer which largely goes unnoticed as it plies its deadly trade. Its name is secondhand tobacco smoke, which has a far greater impact on persons inhaling this poison than on smokers themselves. Secondhand tobacco smoke is especially detrimental in public places and negatively impacts our national health as well as public health expenditure. Stop this invisible killer now. Say no to secondhand tobacco smoke in public places. A public health message brought to you by the Ministry of Health and the Pan American Health Organization. Welcome back. The Honorable Prime Minister Roosevelt Skerritt says he is very concerned about the incidence of chronic non-communicable diseases in Dominica. The Dominica leader speaking on focus on government and development last week lamented on the impact these diseases are having on the population. I am very worried about the prevalence of CNCDs. Um, because it is not only affecting the older people affecting very young people. I have seen young people get heart attacks. I've seen young people um, suffer from acute um, 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 acute um, high blood pressure, um, acute um, diabetes. I've seen young people's limbs and, and, and arms amputated because of, 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 of diabetes. I've seen young people get blind. Um, um, you know, in less associated with diabetes and so forth. Um, you know, there's a high incidence of, of, of cancer, breast cancer, cervical cancer, um, prostate cancer. And I think we have to, we have to draw to all of us the need for us to take better care of ourselves. In more news, Honorable Prime Minister Roosevelt Skerritt is calling on nationals to take advantage of the opportunities in education made possible by the government of Dominica. The Dominica leader was addressing the Tet Mon Village Council inaugural meeting last week. We've had to ensure we invest heavily in education so that our children can not only have access to schools, but they have the means of taking advantage of the access. Because there's one thing to create spaces at the schools, but the parents not having the means of taking, of taking advantage of this, we have facilitated this. And this is why we started off with the school trans um, transportation program in one community. But recognizing the national need of this, we have expanded to virtually the entire country. And Tetmon benefits from this where our students attending the Peachel Secondary School wake up in the morning, catch a bus, and get back home on a reasonable time, as opposed to getting home at 5 and 6 sometimes, because they have to hitchhike a ride home. The Prime Minister has these words of advice to the children of Tetmon. My challenge to the young people of Tetmon is that you must take advantage of the opportunity. You are in school, you must study. Too many of our children play every day and there's nothing wrong in having a, co a computer at home and uh, television and cable, but you must not overuse them. We have to read, we have to study and you have to pass your exams because that's the only way you're going to help yourself and you're going to help your family and you're going to help the country. Your government, the government is spending a lot of money to have the schools functioning. All we ask you to do is to study and do well. The Prime Minister also had advice for parents. When there's a PTA meeting at the Petrol Secondary School, you should attend the PTA meeting. Not absent yourself. And then when there's some other activity which is of no value to you or, or yourself or your, or your children, you're the first to dress up nicely and go to them. Yes. Uh, is that happening here in Tetman and so on? Yes. 
So I'm challenging us that we have to <coughs> we have to work on these things. Because that's the only way we can get ourselves out of poverty by having a sound education. Not about a life of, of blinging. You know, life of blinging can come, but it must come through hard work. It must come through success, not through um, the easy way. Because the easy way is a dangerous route. Um, so I'm urging us here, let us take life seriously. And let us take advantage of the opportunities which the government is making available to you here in this community. Honorable Skerritt reaffirmed his commitment to Dominica and called for the assistance of all citizens in the creation of a prosperous Dominica. As, you know, as the Prime Minister of this country, I am absolutely committed to Dominica and Dominica's well-being and in doing everything humanly possible to ensure we create a better way of life for every single family and every single Dominican in this country. That's my commitment. But at the end of the day, I cannot do it alone. I require the support and the solidarity and the collaboration of all Dominicans who are prepared to put Dominica first before parochial um, partisan considerations. So really, Mervyn, one has to agree with the Prime Minister mm -hmm. that there are really no excuses for children not uh, uh, receiving an education, for children not attending school, for children not maximizing what the education sector has to, to offer to them. Well, clearly, I mean, the Roosevelt Scarlet administration has made a, a drastic impact on the education sector in Dominica. And I mean, you said it right, talking about no excuses for students. You talk about before there was this this issue of parents have to spend so much money to send this, their um, children to school. A lot of times from the country areas down to secondary school, that's no more. Right, right. Yeah, there's the bus transportation system. Um, you talk about the transfer grant. I mean, there, there's this um, situation when um, parents first find it a little difficult when the children has moved from primary to secondary school before books, etc. This, I mean, this, and all that as a result of the implementation of the school transfer grant, at least that has given the parents some assistance. Exactly, that's right. And uh, there are lots of other things we can talk about that's yeah, happening in the education mm -hmm. sector, so many things. And uh, Dominica will be, you know, one of the few countries that has a universal access to, to, to education from all levels, from from not even primary school, even before primary mm -hmm. school, from preschool, government is paying attention to education from, from daycare centers all the way up to tertiary level. And even recently, I was at the Dominica State College in the auditorium and I was like, wow, you know, state of the art Dominica State College um, for, for, for children wanting to pursue the education beyond secondary, beyond secondary school. And um, even there's even no excuse for they're, they're not offering the subject that I want to pursue. Even with the new subjects that, um, new courses that the Dominica State College um, has brought on board recently, fashion design, how to um, fix um, musical instruments and so on. So there's a wide range of courses that, that students can do. So, so, so yeah. clearly there's, there's no excuses for students. Clearly and, and there's as, no excuses. As you, as you mentioned, the fact that the universal access to education, I mean, um, there was this time when, um, after common entrance, I mean, you you run and get that list, and when you when you look at that list, and there's this cut off point. Yes, if your your name is not on there. And it doesn't mean that the child the child wasn't your child wasn't bright. Right, right. It's just that that numbers come up and your child didn't fit. But right, right now, every child has this opportunity to go to secondary school, to attend secondary school. Right, right. So indeed, that um, the the prime minister and the Roosevelt Scarlett administration has done quite a lot for the education sector. Yes. In more news, 19 students from the Dominica State College are more knowledgeable of the opportunities afforded to them by the Caribbean Single Market and Economy, the CSME. They were part of a six-day field promotion tour last week in St. Lucia to understand what the CSME is and how it works. The students were placed into four groups, each dealing with the five regimes of the program. Ashley Blanc focused on the free movement of skills. With that free movement of skills, you are now entitled to all the benefits that CSME holds. You can go, you can move to different countries within the CSME and be able to work and live. As a citizen of wherever country you're entering, you are being able to be, instead of being seen as a Dominican, going to St. Lucia, you're St. Lucian. Go to Trinidad, you're Trinidadian. And 
moving around, it makes you feel that you are more free and you belong where you are, no matter where you go. Elisha Tit focused on free movement of goods and says it is important for all countries to come on board with the regimes. Instead of operating as national markets, we should operate as a single market in which we combine our resources that will enable us to become more competitive with other countries such as the United States, the UK, right? But all countries have to get on board because in order for us to increase this advantage, then we all need to abide to the different laws that the CSME wants to propose. So as I said, the CSME is a work in progress. However, in the future, it will be fully functional. Anja Tuse says the establishment of a businesses regime is proven to be successful. We visited the registration of companies and intellectual rights in St. Lucia and we realized that the fee for a CARICOM member to establish their business in St. Lucia or any other CARICOM country is actually lower than what a national will pay. This gives investors and other businessmen the incentive to want to branch out so you can move your business from Dominica to St. Lucia without having to apply for a trade license or having to apply for other regularities that a national would have. To me, that is tremendous for entrepreneurs and businessmen. Carla Henry says the CSME regimes are working and she is determined to spread the word about the opportunities of the regime. She says the future of CSME integration is promising. While I was in St. Lucia, I wanted to save some money on my account. Um, it was very easy for me to just go to the bank and give my account number and save money on my account. And also, if it is also very beneficial for investors who want to establish businesses in different CSME countries. If you go to these countries, you will have little or no problem with transferring your funds or getting your capital from your banking account. For His Excellency Dominica's ambassador to CARICOM, Felix Gregoire, it was an opportunity to expose the students to the workings of the CARICOM single market and economy. We want them to understand that there are opportunities out there for them. And we want them at a very early age to think of the bigger picture of the um, regional integration movement because we have been discussing this thing for a long time. And um, some products or some of the outcomes are slow in coming and we need to expedite but we have hope in the young people uh, we are sure that if they understand and if they are committed that um, they will take full advantage of the opportunities that are available the students visited ministries and departments responsible for labor commerce and immigration as well as the local stock exchange the central bank and regional service companies and financial institutions you're watching National Focus still to come. The Organization of Eastern Caribbean States is positioning itself to do more business with Martinique. Stay with us. Did you know the Caribbean Court of Justice is two courts in one? The CCJ has two functions, an original jurisdiction, which deals with your right to move between CARICOM countries freely and your right to move your money and your business. This is the basis of the CARICOM Single Market and Economy, CSME, and the revised Treaty of Chagaramas, and an appellate jurisdiction to hear appeals from courts of those countries which decide to use it as their final court of appeal and no longer go to the Privy Council. All CARICOM member states who have signed the agreement establishing the CCJ are members of the CCJ. Welcome back. The Dominica Association of Local Community Authorities, DALCA, officially handed over equipment worth over $21,800 US dollars to village councils and the fire and ambulance department today, April 22nd. This gesture is phase two of DALCA's enhanced community capacity and preparedness project funded by the Australian Direct Aid Program. This project seeks to better equip communities to mitigate disasters. Chairman of DALCA, Yolan John Jules, gave insight into the first phase of the project. Phase one included the generators, chainsaws, 
and equipment, emergency equipment for the fire and ambulance services. That happened after the, tr the trough that affected the south of Dominica when we had all the heavy December rains and there was a lot of damages in those areas. We worked alongside with the Office of ODM through the Australian Direct Aid and they responded by assisting us with the equipment to hand over to that area. John Joe says satisfactory management of the equipment donated under the first phase allowed the association to access more funds for phase two of the project. This project mainly involves procurement of disaster preparedness, mitigation and recovery items to be used across the island. As the direct aid program funds can only be used to procure to procure purpose and specific items in any given or specific projects. This project component include procurement of generators, chainsaws, disaster tools, and of course, we are hoping that these tools and equipment can be used, can be used to ensure that we are prepared and we are ready to mitigate against any such a disaster. Items for the Western District will be housed at the Kolibistri Village Council, the Northern District, the Vekas Village Council, the Southern District, the Pishlai Village Council, for the Southeast, the La Plaine Village Council, the Eastern District, the Casabras Village Council, the Northeastern District, the Kalibishi Village Council, and the Southwest District, the Rosa City Council. Dalka has also partnered with other local agencies, including the Office of Disaster Management and the Fire and Ambulance Services Department, in advocating preparedness and response to disasters as a result of climate change. National Disaster Coordinator Don Corriott says, while it is not possible to prevent natural disasters, much can be done to reduce their impact. He says the ability to manage is key to national development. He says Dalka's plans for disaster management at the community level coincides with plans of the ODM. In fact, this initiative and project falls within the ampits or the pillars of our country work program at ODM. Under the Comprehensive Disaster Management and Climate Change Adaptance Strategy, we, are, we at the ODM have been articulating for the past five years or more the, the, <clears throat> the need to empower communities in building resilience. Therefore, we are indeed happy that our partners are beginning or continuing the process of being involved in proactive, preemptive action at the community level. We love to see more of that throughout the country. Permanent Secretary in the Ministry for Social Services, Sylvani Burton, commended Dalka for their foresight in procuring the equipment to assist the communities, calling their move a step in the right direction. She called on councils to be responsible with what they have received. The councils have to be proactive. You have to plan in advance because you are given one set of equipments, but you have to share. In some districts, there are five councils. In some districts, there are six or seven councils. And so you indeed have to plan. You have to be proactive. We are already in the month of April. And if we want to clear our drains and trim our trees, then definitely we have to put together a plan of action. I expect the councils to have the capacity and they, I am sure that they will be assisted by the local government staff to ensure that that plan of action is put in place and that all councils are serviced. To the councils within the districts whose responsibility it is to ensure the proper use, management, and equip of these equipments, I ask that you do the utmost to maintain proper records of the equipment. That also was mentioned by Mr. Corriott. Sometimes equipments are given and they, they, we say they, have, they pick up feet, they get some feet and they walk and the councils are not able to identify where they are. Dalka's chairman says as long as these equipment are used effectively, the association is looking forward to procuring even more tools from the Australia Direct Aid Programme to service all village councils on the island. 
In other news, the Organization of Eastern Caribbean States is positioning itself to do more business with Martinique. OECS Director General Dr. Didakas Jules held a one-day retreat with the staff of the OECS at the Competitive Business Unit in Dominica to discuss how the OECS can promote its businesses and boost the export potential in the region. The Director General was on official visit to Dominica this week. The CBU, as you know, has been doing a wonderful job in terms of identifying niche businesses that have potential to grow into big business, export business opportunities for the OECS. But we are at a, at a point in history where we need to take a very critical look at what we've been doing, how we've been doing things, and how we need to move things forward in the future. Martinique has now become an associate member of the Organization of Eastern Caribbean States, and Dr. Jules says this now creates avenues for trade with the French territories. Martinique is not um, a participant in the economic union, so they, don't, they would not, for example, be adopting the EC dollar or involving some of the trade arrangements, um, the freedom of movement of people and so on. Guadeloupe is due to come on board as well by the end of the year, we hope. But what, what the associate membership means is that there are, there are new avenues of collaboration between Martinique and Guadeloupe that will be open through that membership to the OECS. The challenge for the, for the CBU is that we need to take account of the reality of Martinique being on board and what that means for trade possibilities. Remember, Martinique is French territory. So in a way, they are our, not back door, but our direct access door to the European Union and to, to France itself. That, that has a whole range of possibilities in, in its own right. The Organization of Eastern Caribbean States now consists of 10 members, namely Dominica, Antigua and Barbuda, Grenada, Monstrat, St. Kitts and Nevis, St. Lucia, St. Vincent and the Grenadines, Anguilla, British Virgin Islands, and now Martinique. The organization was established in June 1981 on the signing of the Treaty of Bastier. Coming up next, Mark Fusson St. Louis with today's Scrail Highlight. Hello tout le monde, bienvenue à ce nouvel en créole, non moi c'est Mark Fusson St. Louis. Premièrement, Dominique Bonchet et puis la voix dans la terre pour célébrer le jour de femme en ICT. Parole cela la sortie de ministre ICT, Honorable Kelvin Daru. Eh bien, demain, nous qui observons un uh, temps pour célébrer les um, jeunes femmes en Hard ICT. Ça, c'est un, un, un programme qui est développé pour les United Nations et tous les pays qui ont Hard ICT. Nous qui célébrer la journée de la Eh bien, c'est une opportunité pour les jeunes femmes, pour pour les savoir, pour les connaître, ce qu'ils fait et puis et, Hard ICT. Uh, nous de, nous de encourage toutes les jeunes femmes qui ont un interest en ICT pour pour poursuivre ça. Um, il y a un um, travail en ICT, ça c'est une industrie qui est un plus de travail. So, si si une femme qui qui le travail en ICT, c'est une opportunité pour um, taper des informations pour yo développer yo avec tout le ça là pour si vous allez à uh, si story ICT. C'est opportunité pour faire ça. Il y a une activité qui est formée par la célébration de la là. Demain, nous avons un programme de Talking Point, ça c'est Radio DBS, avec le directeur Telecoms, et puis ces femmes qui sont professionnelles dans ICT. Nous avons parlé de programme et de la ICT. Nous avons un workshop qui a fait le Rio Center en Ozo. So, ça c'est un workshop pour les pour jeunes femmes qui sont à l'école. Vous pouvez venir et vous savez ce qu'il fait pour l'ICT. Et puis, c'est mon National Youth Council. Vous pouvez venir un programme pour la Mapping Television en Suède pour que vous savez ce qu'il fait. Vous savez qui est pour vous comprendre ce qu'il fait pour l'ICT. En la nouvelle, le gouvernement Dominique tient une mission officielle qui voyage à Martinique pour changer une discussion pour les produits agricoles. Dominique Van a aussi la place pour l'installer. A Wall Salah, sorti au ministère de l'Agriculture, Honorable Johnson Drago, qui était à ce voyage-là. Depuis moi, je suis venu au ministère de l'Agriculture, 
moi toujours dit travail moi c'est pour c'est pour supporter bon travail là mon joine qu'a fait à agriculture um, déjà et ben on c'est pareil là mon te dit mon te qui fait c'est moi même te qui pour un temps moi pour aller l'autre pays et ben ministre pour garder pour la place pour um, agriculture ma am um, products et ben mon côté pour dire nous te matnik c'est bien passé et ben nous dit bon meeting et ben plusieurs moun ki az a fè agriculture euh nou jwenn depi on supermarket ona ki prepare pou gen tout produit nou sa voye bay comme on ka di encore nou ka presse travay la se moun hok sa ka fè an tape produit dominik lòt peyi pou vann produit dominik lòt peyi minister try go di le la we ve pou mini agriculture dominik on lòt etay men le a we ve là nous ne pouvons aller à Sakakouye le high end market area ça c'est l'hôtel avec supermarket et ben pour taper sa fête produire ni pour exporter à dans un standard qui plus haut qui qu'on aura fait à présent et ça qui fait gouvernement nous va mettre ensemble pour nous ouvrir ces cailles ça nous crée ces parking house là nous ni bureau of standard qui aide nous pour certifier ces pharmacies là et ben comme ça nous ca fait garde pour nous avoir gagné un canot pour aider nous pour nous exporter produits agricoles et ben les nous qui ben tout ça ensemble nous qui bien parlé pour nous rejoindre um, ça la place la commande au nous donc mix c'est style pays là qui ca produit primaire manger en rôle caraïbe là mais à celle là les produits ça arrive notre pays il pas ca arriver là qualité là qui quoi bout la place la commande so ça nous ca fait à présent c'est pour mettre tout mécanisme ensemble pour les produits nous qui t'ai donné nous qui t'a payé pour ya produit ya besoin on a nouvelle 19 étudiants state college dominique a dans une meilleure position pour opportunité comme comme single market and economy ca afforder yo ces étudiants sont là t'ai assis en tout simple six semaines passées on a eu à prendre plus compte ca comme single market and economy et puis manière et ca fonctionner ces étudiants là tu en quatre groupes chaque cas engagé et puis à régime carré comme single market en économie yo mettez attention à ce mouvement sans problème ça au quoi free movement of persons mouvement communauté en parmi d'autres yo aussi visiter plusieurs d'autres départements en parmi finance ça c'est d'affaire la jambe communauté en parmi d'autres ambassadeur Dominique pour OICS Félix Gregoire fait parole si pour pour programme là Et puis finalement organisation conseil jeunesse dominique NYC ni autant programme pour jeunesse pays là parole ça là sorti comme ministre jeunesse honorable Justin Charles Comment on dit ça National Youth Council of Youth Division you need a set of program qui ça aide transformer jeune monde autant programme là yo ka point skill mais c'est pas ni a point skills pour travail you need là yo ka mutuo yo comment yo ça développer con man même life yo ka ki ça life skills différents bagages comment yo ça deliver um, anger comment yo ça manage ma, ma, um, manager ko yo comment yo ça um, ende on lot moun comment yo sa participer tan budgeting comment yo sa manage l'argent yo ini a city program am te di de département sa ka ofè ki sa ende moun comment pou continuer vivre gouvernement dom ne ka meti autant attention a se jeunesse an pays la mais c'est madame ça c'est tout pour nouvelle en créole pour à présent non moins c'est mac fosson saint louis au revoir come up next your tip of the day Wash your hands. I am Adora Tuse, health educator from the Ministry of Health. Proper hand washing protects against the spread of many common illnesses and germs. Wash your hands often with soap and water, or you may use a hand sanitizer. Remember, 
clean hands save lives. Protect yourself. A message from the health promotion of the Ministry of Health. You shouldn't buy shoes that hurt, bottom line. Your shoes should feel comfortable from the first step. So shop in the evening. Your feet swell during the day and stop in the late afternoon. So you want to shop when they are at their biggest. Also, make sure the sneakers are a little roomy, enough so that you can wiggle your toes, but no more than that. They should be comfy from the get-go, but they'll be even more so once you have a good 20 to 40 miles on them. And that's all for this edition of National Focus. We always welcome your suggestions and comments. Drop us an email at gis at dominica.gov.dm or visit our website at news.gov.dm. Like our Facebook page, facebook.com slash gisnewsdominica and follow us on Twitter at gisdominica. You can also catch up on past National Focus newscasts on our GIS Dominica YouTube channel. From all of us here on the GIS News Desk, I'm Kimani Senjang. And I'm Mervyn Murphy. Thanks for watching and join us again next time for National Focus.